You've no doubt heard the expression, many hands make for light work. And that is true, especially on Facebook, when you're managing a Facebook page. So all Facebook pages allow um, you know, nonprofits and businesses to add and manage multiple administrators, different levels of admin access who would perform different uh, responsibilities and different tasks. For example, updating the cover image, adding custom tabs, moderating comments, um, viewing insights, purchasing ads for the page. These are all different responsibilities that you know different people might have, okay? So there are several, as I said, several different levels of access for admin capabilities on your Facebook page and all of them can be managed uh, directly through the settings area, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. Uh, but the first thing you do is you visit your page, make sure that you're logged in as yourself, and that you are, in fact, an admin for the page. Uh, and then when you go to settings, you'll see a tab called roles, page roles. They used to call this admins, but now it's called page roles, okay? And within the page roles section are all of the people who are managing the page. In this case, we have John, David, Catherine, another Catherine here, and Marie. All right, you notice that they're all admin. Not such a good idea, unless they are all, um, they all want to have complete access to the page. So let me show you the different levels of access now, okay? So an admin, uh, an admin can uh, actually manage all aspects of a Facebook page, including sending messages, publishing as the page, uh, replying as comments, creating ads, viewing insights, and seeing which admins created a post or a comment on the page. And by the way, every role, admin, editor, moderator, advertiser, and analyst can all see who's published a post on the page. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Let me just go and visit the page and I'll show you. So if you're logged in as an admin and you're looking at your page, you can see published by and then the name of the person, the name of the admin or role, the person who has a role on your page. No one else sees this except for admins. So don't worry about that, okay? Uh, so we're gonna go back to this admin area. And the first level again is admin access. This person also has the ability to delete the page or unpublish the page. Now the next level is the editor, okay? So an editor can edit the page. Uh, they can send messages. They can publish posts on the page. They can reply to comments. They can view insights and they can also purchase ads, all right? What they can't do is they can't add admins, they can't manage the page from an administrative standpoint, in other words, like deleting tabs or anything like that, uh, but they can change the cover image and certain things like that, but they can't uh, have overall top level admin access, so that's the editor. And then we have a moderator. So a moderator is someone who can only respond to and delete comments. They can also uh, purchase ads, they can send messages, they can uh, reply to comments, and they can also view insights. All right, so that's the moderator. Basically, they can do everything that an editor can do, but they can't publish page posts. So that's the moderator, all right? The next level down is the advertiser. So advertisers cannot post updates to the page. They cannot reply to comments or like uh, comments on your posts. They can't change the cover image. They can't uh, update and manage tabs on the page, but they can purchase ads and they can view insights, all right? And obviously, if you have someone, a consultant perhaps, who's purchasing ads to promote your page or promote your page posts, you definitely want them to view insights, all right? So that's why this is kind of a def default feature in this role, is that anybody who's creating ads has to view insights because they wanna be able to select the best performing posts and view other information about your page that will help them develop a smarter Facebook ad strategy, okay? So that's advertiser, and then the last one is an analyst. So an analyst can see, again, which admins have published which posts, like I mentioned before. I'm just gonna click over, 
and look at this. So uh, any level of role can see who published the page, but only roles or admins can see that information, okay? Uh, so the analyst, again, they can only see Facebook insights and they can only see who published posts. So again, this would be perfect for um, you know, someone who's doing more of the analytics, the marketing analytics for your page. Maybe they also have access to Google Analytics, right? Uh, so the last thing I want to mention is make sure that you are assigning the appropriate level of access for each person on your page. Keep in mind that if you assign an admin, admin level, top level access to someone who might be, say, a temporary worker or an intern or somebody who's really kind of a volunteer or a part-timer, um, you know, that person actually has the ability to delete the page, all right? So you want to ask yourself, you know, what level of access do we really need to give this person? And I would highly recommend limiting the admin access to marketing managers, communication managers, or up, right, executive level. Even if you have the, uh, the um, executive director uh, be an admin for the page, but yet they don't even use Facebook, that's totally fine. As long as you have someone on staff or on the uh, manager or executive level that has admin access to the page because you never want to lose access to the page. I can't tell you how many times I've been contacted by a nonprofit saying, hey, we gave our uh, uh, you know, access to our uh, intern and that was the only person managing our page and now they're off to Mexico and we can't reach them. Who knows where they are, right? So be super careful about the different levels of access that you are assigning um, different people. And to add another admin, of course, you can simply type in a name or an email and then add the appropriate level of access to that person. And then you simply click on save to save your changes and then you're done.